If you're looking to create bootable disks, especially if you're going to reinstall or install Windows, then Rufus is one of the best tools that you can use on your Windows PC. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Rufus on your Windows PC. Before we jump in guys, would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. So currently I'm on Windows 11 and I'm going to show you how to do it using Google Chrome. So if you're on Windows 10, the steps are the same. So head over to your Google Chrome and you want to use the search and just simple type in Rufus, right? You will find Rufus download most likely populate. So you can simply go ahead and hit enter to search for it. And you want to look for the website that says rufus.ie. So head over to the website there. And as you can see here from this website, it is showing you how the Rufus application looks. You can go ahead and you can have a look at it. But you want to scroll all the way down to where you have downloads. And as you can see, the latest release here, right? So what you want to do, there are two type of versions here, guys. You have the standard and you also have the portable, right? You also have the X64 and you have the ARM64. Now, if you're using a 64-bit machine, you want to go ahead and download the standard version. Of course, you can do the portable as well, but I'm recommending that you download the standard version, which is the first option here. And if you're using a 32-bit machine, you can download the X64 bit. But I'm working with a 64-bit machine and I'm gonna download the first option. If you don't know if you're using a 32-bit or a 64-bit machine, you can simply go ahead and click the Windows key on your keyboard and type in system info. You'll find system information. You can click on that and you can see on the system type if you're using a 64-bit machine or whatever, right? Now, as you can see there, I'm using a 64-bit, so I'm going to simply download the first option here. For this pop-up window here, you can simply go ahead and click close as it's an add and you can see immediately it downloads. So go ahead and click on the download file there. It's going to give you a pop-up. Simply choose yes. And as you can see, the Rufus application has already installed on my PC. So this is it, guys. You have the Rufus application. If you have a disk, whether it's a virtual disk or you have a USB stick, you can simply go ahead and input that in your PC and you'll be able to find it within the device option here. And from here, you can choose whether you want to select the boot type. If it's a disk or ISO, etc. you'll be able to see it here. You can choose between the options. Right, and then you want to ensure that under select, you can choose whether you want to download or you want to do the select. And then once you have everything all started out, then you can simply go ahead and you can start creating whatever bootable disk you want to create. But all in all guys, Rufus is one of the best applications that you can use to either download Windows or also to create bootable disk for your Windows PC. Here you have it guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.